One, two, three, four. <laughs> okay, guys, in this video, we continue with our PBG tutorials. And in this video, we're going to explain how to use uh, customize the tool to have your own materials. So because uh, like you see, um, this is the prefab we do in our last video. And you can see that uh, the materials are kind of outdated, kind of not really good for the eye. So we're going to make our own. Um, our own materials, which are already uh, downloaded from um, Bridge, from Megascan, okay? And this is how to do it. So the first thing you do is we just, I'm going to my first project, or my project, this one, because this one is, uh, I already have downloaded all the Megascan uh, textures, materials, that I need to customize my building. So what I'm gonna do is migrate this prefab and put it to my asset action. Okay, migrate and I'm gonna put it, save, yes, save selected. Okay, and I'm gonna put it, um, okay, take all the things you need, okay. And I'm gonna put it on my project, um, not this one so i'm gonna um, sorry for the delay okay my e drive where i put epic project and pbg workshop there it is make sure to select the content folder and do a migrate um no don't overwrite because i already have uh, pbg installed in this project so go to my PBG, go to my prefab, and I choose should have have my PBG prefab one right here. So put it. See, this is PBG B one. Okay, so so we do have our prefab. First thing to have to customize your material is to go to the material manager on your prefab properties. So material manager, and there it is. So you do have it. So I do uh, do a lot of searches because it's really convenient for me. But you can already uh, go to the material section and choose the section you want. So you can see that the materials are customizable in a very great way. See, uh, you can have a different material for your walls, for your corner mesh, for your pillars, for your doors, for your roof, your corner. Uh, and you can see that we, they are two it's divided always uh, always on two sections the first section is the floor section and the second one is the roof section so the roof is actually what you have what you see right here okay and this is the floor okay so first thing we have to expand the floor wall meshes we're gonna do a customizing for the walls first thing the walls okay and you can see right here that we have all the base, the materials that come with uh, PBG. This comes with PBG, okay. Once you add PBG, you have it on your project. So I'm not really good fan of this. So I'm gonna remove all the uh, items, okay. And what I'm gonna do is add my own materials, okay. So going to my materials, I can select ones for Megascan, which I already uh, downloaded from Bridge. So you go to Bridge right here on Bridge. Uh, I already have all my favorites right here, all the surfaces, and I can go directly to Brick, for example. And you can see all my Brick materials right here. Just download on Bridge and make an export to your project. So I already done that, so we don't have to waste time on this. And let's say that we I'm going to use this this brick wall material. Okay. So what you have to do is just make a drag and drop and put it directly. And you can see that I have the changes made instantly on my prefab. Okay. So this is the first thing. And of course you can put other materials. So I'm gonna choose another brick material, for example or maybe um warm brick no let's choose this one okay slate because it's a different one and you can see the difference this is because i want to demonstrate to you another 
one of the best things that come with PBG. And for the last one, I'm gonna add, uh, let's say a concrete beam. This one should be okay. So what you see is I already made three different materials, okay? And the next step is to put it on together on the other, uh, on the other uh, element of the building. So right now they're only on the walls, okay? And what I want to do is to put it on all my elements. That's to say all the roof, the roof corner, the pillars, all the element of my uh, uh, my PBG. So the way to do that is simply by making a copy paste. Okay, just do a copy, and you can see here the old materials passed. And right now you can see on the wall and the corner the new materials have taken place. So same, continue, same way. Past. So, by the way you can see that the changes are made on the building each time I make a copy paste so right now it should be the roof corner I see all the corners okay the pillars so the pillar, right, uh, so I can do a collapse all to go fast, and I guess I was on the corner, not sure, yeah, corner, okay, the roof corner, so two left, the collapse all, that's it, and for the roof pillar, see if it has been updated, okay, so last one, Okay, so this is it. We already made all differences on our uh, on our pref uh, on our instance of the prefab. So remember, always make a copy pass to your prefab. So the changes you made are only on this instance of the prefab. So you do have to open the prefab and make the past back. Okay, make the copy paste back. So I already made the copy. So I'm gonna continue on the prefab. Okay, so I open my prefab. It doesn't matter to open the full blueprint either. Just go with the material. Material manager, sorry. Material manager. Okay, that's it. So you see that on the prefab the materials have not been updated so i'm gonna make an update with the past see floor and do the same process okay so i'm gonna make fast forward the video and going back afterwards So, welcome back. So once you have done that, you just have to recompile your prefab. So make a compile and don't forget to make a save. Very important if you want to have your changes made to the prefab. And the next time you made a grub to the prefab, just do this, okay. And see, we already do have a working prefab, see. So, um, how to customize the uh, your building easy you just have to make a randomize of your materials so remember that we already made three materials for the all the meshes that's to say the roof the um all the um, the component of our buildings okay so i'm gonna make uh, a really quick the building then going back so you can see the um, the changes better okay soon
So welcome back. You can see that I already have my building. Okay. By default, remember our prefab has a tree floor and have one basement. And you can see that we already have this texture, this texture, this material already applied to the building. And what we want is to make a random material. So make a randomize. Sorry, random. Okay. And you can see all the random system. So what we want is a random material. And right now you can randomize the wall, the floor wall material. You can make it for the corner, for the pillar, the door. Uh, make a randomize all the secondary materials which have effect on changing all your windows. And you can see that I made the, I'm making the changes instantly. Okay, make some room, up, 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 and this is it. So what I want is to randomize, for example, you just have to check the, uh, each time you want to have another instance of the materials, just make a check. And you can see each time I check, it will change the material. See? And we have three different materials going back and you can see that I can fully customize my building uh, make it for the floor make it for the pillars and you can see the whole possibilities which are offered to you from the PBG each time you push uh, uh, or you can make a, 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 a general random for your materials so this is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed this video and I uh, hope see you soon in my next videos. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to make the thumbs up and <laughs> welcome back to the channel anytime. See ya.